Good morning comrades and today we are at Eiffel Rally Festival with Bike Speak Special, a yearly recurring event dedicated to classic rally cars. So well let's go check out some cars. And let's start with this massive wing over there, Sebastian Loeb Racing to an AT16 probably while well, this everything gave it away. It is that car that broke the Pikes Peak record back in 2013. Impressive 8 minutes 13 and you know by now that a couple of weeks ago a Volkswagen IDR broke the record, it went sub 8, almost never cream reference, uh, 757 if I'm correct. And, but yeah, very cool to see this car, especially if you can see a it's, uh, the seat, uh, the, st the seating position is in the middle, like a McLaren F1, you would say. And next to it is its granddaddy, a Peugeot 205 from Pikes Peak as well. Very cool. Even bigger, even more crazier aero, I would say, than the nowadays car. Crazy aero. An even crazier engine. And here next to it, I think it's a rover. <laughs> yep, it is. V6 in the back. An Audi. And here, a Skoda. And a couple of weeks ago, I wouldn't be able to tell what it is, but you may remember that a couple of Skodas came to the Nürburgring to drive it, and then we knew what it is. I think 110 or 130 S R S. I don't remember exactly, but it looks fabulous, and it's even great to see now one in a rally outfit. Of course, some Quattros, and then here an Opel. You know, we could actually make it even a game where we're gonna count the amount of Walter Rohr stickers on the cars, because there are plenty of them. Well, have here lanchas, because again, what is a rally event without a lancha, like it is the case with the Quattro. Um, yeah, another Opel, uh, an Alpine, also very impressive, very good rally car, 110. Also very cool, very nice. And it's bigger brother. Another Opel, next to it another Rover with some aggressive aero and again the engine in the back. The V6. More Opels with more Walter Rohr stickers. This is something small and cute. What is that? Let's have a closer look. It is, it is... Uh, what? Anglia. Ah. Oh. 2002 Then we have a couple of RS 200s and what never occurred to me is that the radiator is mounted on the roof I know when like drift cars mount the radiator in the back, but the roof that's something new something new But I'm pretty sure it's practical and it works. It could be also intercooler, but I think Well, maybe even oil cooler. I don't know hard to say and a massive engine in the back and then over there it looks like I don't know like uh, some Bel Air 50s uh, car if you look at the, at the extra external lights the rally lamps but it's actually Subaru <laughs> another RS200 with impressive light units next to it as well an Escort and then over here another RS200 but with the engine cover up so let's have a look Ah, another rover, and with its hood open, let's have a look. Impressive V6. <laughs> How did they ever manage to put that in such a small car? And then some cars that you probably wouldn't expect to be a rally car, but I mean, just like anything can be a race car, anything can be a rally car. 190, some other older Mercedes. Uh, Austin Cooper, uh, a Saab, a classic Saab, 
And then what do we have here? A Talbot. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's really really old school, and I think that's like a Nissan Datsun team here. Very nice. Unfortunately, they were not that successful in rally, but still, very iconic car. Just quickly going back to the start to show you this Quattro, and it is from Holland actually. Well, I'm actually here to find a Peugeot, well, not that Peugeot that we've already seen, but another very iconic one, a 405, which is the main star of the film Climb Dance. So let's see if we can find it. Not a Peugeot, but still very special and uncommon, the 308 GTB rally car. And the Honda next to it. And here, an Audi Tradition tent with the original Pikes Peak car of Valderer, of course, of course. Some info in case you're wondering what it is exactly. Hmm, I think there is more hidden in this small valley. Alley, valley, alley, whatever. There are cars, that's all you need to know. Another 205 and also with its engine cover off. So let's have a look in the back. When I see a Rotman's Porsche and something to do with rally, I'm hoping to see a 959. Well, not in this case, it's just a 911. But I see something very special peeking there out of the corner. Well, some cars covering it up, so let me show you this. Austin. Is this a parachute? That's cute. But I wanted to show you a Lada. A VSTS and next to it another Skoda. And then if you're more into modern stuff, then there is a bit of a more modern Skoda. But I prefer a bit of more older models, to be honest with you guys. Triumph. Maybe the first time that I see such a car in my life. Because it doesn't really ring a bell. A Toyota does ring a bell, however. And more than one. Disregard my previous comment about Lana being special because apparently there's another one. Well, this Citroen DS, however, is pretty special. Look at the stands. Oh yeah. Oh, in case you want to have it. Well, just like the 190e Mercedes we saw previously, 
a 635 is not really exactly right the car but what also is even more uncommon a DAF uh, Van Dorne Anhanger Fabriek uh, which is like the translation of DAF they're making trucks now but they used to make cars and what's special about it is it has very matic transmission so it just has one speed and back in the days in Holland they used to have like a TV show when they would race those in reverse because it has only one speed the reverse the cars go just as fast as it goes forward so I'm pretty sure you can look up on YouTube like tough race or something and then similar to the Lada well how can a Seat be similar to a Lada well a Seat 124 which is also based on the Fiat just like the Lada very cool to see us here for me I think it's a fir it was definitely the first time I see this set, well, this type of model here in real life, but I'm pretty sure my Spanish audience have seen them more often. And then something very special, a Volkswagen with an engine in the front. But then, wait, there's more, because there's also an engine in the back. This must be the most badass Golf in the world. And then next to it, a similar spec. Now my Soviet feelings intensify because it's a Trabant. Eight hundred RS, even more special than a GT3 RS. Okay, well that's it for the rally cars. Now we are back at Apex with some ice cream, and Robert is there as well. And we are about to go and pick up something special, something what we've been waiting for quite some months. Never been here with a car before. Let's go, let's go. Well, by now you probably know what we are here for. Hello. Hello, Mr. BRM. Hello, Mr. Apex, guys. Can you see? Wow, 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 wow. Fancy, 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 fancy. So, this is yours. That's mine. This is mine. <laughs> and this is everybody else's who wants to buy one. 5,200 euros. And we're gonna show you better pictures and videos at the daylight. The color of it, when we're working around the cars and stuff, I was just, yeah. And driving like race cars and yeah. four. So this one goes, the Golf version. Oh, it's hard to say goodbye to this watch. It's been like <laughs> with me for how long now? Three months or something? It gave me also a nice sunburn. Well, what time is it? Thank you. How much is this one? Everyone has been asking me. Um, normally 4,300. Okay. Yeah. That's not too bad, huh? The lab record watches? Very nice. By the way, look here. Ladies and gentlemen, the track is open for tourist driving. Oh, I think they put on a new sound system because it sounds very nice and loud and clear from here. Well, let's go do some laps. Right, Traditional wise, a nice traffic jam before TF. Yeah, we're definitely in the height of the season, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and I feel a drop on my head, so maybe it's gonna start raining. I love the wet laps, but unfortunately, they bring also some crashes with them, usually. That's a very nice pack on the EUDM Integra. Look at all the racetracks. That's special. A Donka Ford GTO. Dutch Pride. Have fun. Well, I'm on the way to the car, which is at the Overflow car park, and it's been 15 minutes after the opening, 
and it's only getting busier look at the traffic jam it's crazy and on this side as well well I hope I hope for the best I hope for the best for the best track conditions oh we've seen this car before <laughs> awesome have fun it looks like Disneyland look at the queue to the ticket office that's crazy Ten plus minutes later, and it's still busy, busy, a little bit less now. Take the circle. You. Oh no, not me. You. Watch out! There is rain. Okay, that's done. Now we can do some car spotting. After all the wing games that we saw earlier today at the Eiffel Rally, we can see some wide body game. Nice. Well, that's actually a pretty serious uh, setup inside, I must say. Looks very cool. Nice, 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 nice. E30, some fancy wrapped, I think it's a wrap, Gallardo. I don't know. Yeah, most probably. Some wing game. And here, something special, a Civic CR. And it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna go home. M3 from Czech Republic. Nice white body. Well, white body. Stock, stock M3 arches. But very cool. Thumbs up. Bye, Tim. And hello again, back to Apex. The day is coming to an end, so I just want to make a quick outro by showing you this. Because I'm not sure if we've seen it enough because the first time we saw it was at Team Shermer when it was getting built for us the next day I wasn't that much present and the car was on the track the whole time we did a lap of course and now it's here yeah um, yeah I actually want to do a bit more laps in this and tell you more about the feeling of the car after after we did more laps with it yeah um, this car available for bookings on the weekends mostly so uh, same price as the McLaren 299 um, and yeah come get them while they're hot see you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog when we have a full day of TF maybe unless I'm gonna skip because I'm still catching up with all material so whatever's gonna happen tomorrow it's gonna be full of car content from the Nürburgring. ring thanks for watching bye bye <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> Persian. Persian. No, you can't do Persian. You cannot you try that Persian. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do Chinese. Bosnian. Simplified Chinese. No, Bosnian is... <sighs> Simplified Chinese. That's the one. That's, that's for you. I can't do this. It's going to backfire yours. on me. That's yours. It's going gonna, it's gonna to massively backfire. Do, do, do. No, because this is incredibly racist. No, it's not. It is. Because you're just saying it's you meant funny. to do it. It's yeah, funny. that's what, that's what I want to say. When you do the Spanish one, that's not racist or what? Uno papel con el que se de que le pone fuba fútbol al con mis amigos en la playa. That's not fucking racist. That's also Spanish. How's that? How's that racist? That's just speaking Spanish. That's what you're just speaking Spanish. Sorry, because he's doing it. Okay. There he goes. There he goes. I can't do that. I can't do it. This is a more complex communication call again. I don't want to do it. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I just know it's going to be seen by everyone. Remember <laughs> yeah, that time Tom do spoke it. Chinese? Do it. <laughs> do it, do it. <laughs> do it, and then you can decide whether or not it should be used. Okay. Bin Sao Chao Ching Hua. Lin Shao Kao Sing Hua. No. You just, that's uh, what you just, said. Wait, let me try again. Um, it's not spoke Chinese for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Hua Bing Chong in Taiwan. Skating rink in Taiwan. That's I mean, it was so a good, good. It was a good trip. I remember it very well. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of fun. <laughs>